Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So Eid is almost here and I'm sure all of you have made some wonderful Eid plans. Now if your plan involves a lunch or a dinner or even an Eid barbecue with your friends and family and you have tiny guests coming over, then I guarantee you that you will love today's recipe. It's called a mini chicken Sikh kebab and it is yummy for little children. Even grown-ups can enjoy it, but please do keep in mind the flavors are mild and please do adjust the spices according to your level. To make the mini sea kebabs, take about 750 grams of minced chicken, one onion chopped into small pieces, one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, a handful of chopped coriander leaves, half or one full lemon, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of Kashmiri chili powder, one teaspoon of garam masala powder, and half a teaspoon of cumin powder, one to two tablespoons of breadcrumbs, and one whole egg. Next, soak some bamboo skewers or mini skewers or toothpicks in water for about 30 minutes. If you are worried about using toothpicks, you can just remove them right before serving to the child. Next, we are going to add all the ingredients one by one into the minced chicken. For this, you can use a large bowl. So drop in all the ingredients along with the spices and the lemon juice. You can use half a lemon or even one full lemon depending on the taste buds of your child. Next, I'm going to add the whole chicken egg into the mix. What you can do is in the place of one chicken egg, you could also add two small quail eggs. Very often I find that adding the two small quail eggs is better because the mix doesn't become too watery or runny. Then I'm going to add about one tablespoon of cooking oil. I've used canola oil here. Why I like to add oil at this stage is so that I don't need to do it once it's cooking in the air fryer. And then I'm going to give that a gentle mix. Next, I'm going to add some salt. Please do add the salt as per your taste and liking. We generally keep the salt a little less in our house. At every stage, we should be careful not to over mix it and to just combine it gently and to make sure everything comes together. You can either refrigerate it at this stage or you can refrigerate it once you've added the breadcrumbs. So here I'm adding the breadcrumbs a little at a time. I found that adding 1 to 2 tablespoons of breadcrumbs is usually enough but in some cases if the egg is a little bigger then you may have to add some more breadcrumbs. So just see how it goes and keep adding as required. And then gently we are going to combine this whole mix and bring everything together. You can see that now it is in a state where I can actually roll it into kebabs. First, I'm going to make some larger sized ones which Romy and I are going to have. And then I'll get started on the mini Sikh kebabs. So roll them into whatever size and shape that you like. And then once that is done, just put the bamboo skewer through these kebabs and set them aside in a plate. And then you can keep doing that. Try to make them a little flat, uh, not very rounded, so that they do cook well in an air fryer or on a stove top or even for the barbecue that you may be going to. You can either make the kebabs and then refrigerate them and then just cook them as I'm doing. Or if you prefer, you can make the mix and then refrigerate that. And then once it's a lot more firm to work with, you can take it out of the fridge make the kebabs and just air fry them or cook them straight away. It all depends on what is your comfort and what is easier for you to do at that point of time. Now let's get started on the mini sea kebabs. So for this I'm going to take a toothpick and then I'm just going to make them a little small. Just try to take about a lemon size of the filling in your hand and roll it. Try to make it a little flat so that it cooks nicely. You can see the shape here. And then I'm going to keep doing this. These mini sea kebabs have always been a hit in our family. Not just with Patrick and with our other little child kid guests, but also with grown-ups. It's something that you can really think of serving as an appetizer for a party or uh, even, you know, as uh, an evening tea time snack. People tend to really like it. And because it's small and bite-sized, it's easy to eat and very appealing to the eyes as well. <music> 
make sure the kebabs are laid out either on a plate or on a tray without sticking too close to each other and then cover that plate or tray very tightly with cling wrap all over from all the sides. I always find it easier personally for me if I can shape the kebabs well ahead of time, refrigerate them and then just take them out probably 15-20 minutes before I want to cook them. Next, I'm going to refrigerate this for about 30 to 40 minutes. You can even refrigerate it for longer depending on what time you intend to make them. Now it's time to start cooking and you can see I've taken the kebabs out of the fridge and this is how they look. Now very gently, I'm going to place them one at a time into the air fryer basket. The key to using an air fryer is to make sure that you never overcrowd it so that the cooking is uniform and on all sides. Now once that's done, I close the basket and I'm going to set the timer to about 5 minutes initially. So now 5 minutes is up and after I open the air fryer, you can see the color has slightly changed. Now I'm going to flip the kebabs over very gently without breaking them and air fry them again for another 5 minutes. You can see that it is slightly browning now on one side. So now the cooking time is over and I'm going to take the kebabs out of the air fryer. You can see that it is browned on all sides and it should look something like this. You may have to cook these kebabs anywhere between a total of 8 to 12 minutes depending on their size. And if I open the kebab, you can see that this is how it looks inside. It's well cooked. The chicken, the egg, the onions, everything are cooked and it is ready for serving. We've even barbecued this kebab on several occasions and I'm sure I don't need to tell you when chicken combines with charcoal what an amazing flavor it is. These kebabs are not just wonderful to look at but along with all the other items on your Eid spread, when your little ones see that these mini sea kebabs have been made exclusively for them along with a side of green chutney, I guarantee you that they will have a wide smile on their face. Just get them to try Try one or two and you will have a winner recipe for kids. This is really an awesome way to get your picky eaters to have their chicken, vegetables and even eggs all together. Thank you for watching. Eid Mubarak to you from our family. And until our next video, stay safe and happy kidding.